what up guys, it is the Bookies here again and welcome back to the second campaign in our World War 3 scenario here with the West versus the East in a classic Cold War sort of layout. Uh, yeah, so in the second series we'll be looking at the Middle East along with the uh, Caucasus Mountains and the East of the Black Sea just in general. Um, I believe it's the Caucasus Mountains, yeah. Um, uh, but, but primarily the Middle East and everything uh, south of the Black Sea. Um, I'm going to load up a map that I've prepared. And what I've done is, you know, I haven't really positioned any units. I've just prepared one of the multiplayer maps, um, modernized it a bit, and um, prepared for the first episode, which is this one, as you can tell. Uh, uh, you already know what we're attacking. And the defenders are, of course, the SAA, which I have made uh, manually here. Uh, using the Chechen skins and some modern equipment. Uh, haven't given them the Soviet helmet, of course not. I've given them a helmet that I've actually seen in plenty of different videos before. I think it's Russian made. Um, yeah, total, makes totally, uh, totally makes <laughs> makes for a good helmet. Really, I was gonna make say make makes total sense, but makes totally sense. It's weird England, really weird England. I'm speaking here. <laughs> anyway, here's another guy right here. Um, his helmet's slightly more Russian, but I know they have the ear uh, caps over there, um, the ones that I've seen. Just really just mixed camo. Um, at least they all have beards and shit. Um, I guess that's like a standard uh, Arabic face. I don't know. Uh, at least they are Chechen uh, skins that I'm using that are part of the game, so it'll have to do. I'm not going to use any Russian camouflage or anything like that. Uh, they might actually speak Russian to begin with, but who gives a shit? Um... We're also looking at the BMPs here. Um, they're the ones that are using as the BMP ones and twos. Uh, also, I've seen some BTR sixties and seventies uh, used as well. Uh, the main battle tank they use is apparently the T seventy two. They use T fifty fives, T sixties, and just all kinds of shit really. But I decided to give them the T seventy twos and this time around. Um, also, there's some uh, desert camo airplanes and just on this airstrip here. So yeah, we're in Tala Airport and who's attacking? No one else but the IDF, which I prepared here with a four-man Merkava, and they've got an eight-man crew inside of this uh, American-produced M113, uh, M113, or whatever you want to call it. I couldn't find any more suitable APCs that I wanted to hand over to them at this uh, time and moment, so eh, that will have to do for now. There are limited uh, equipment in this game, so you know I'll have to make use of what I can. So now we're just going to fill these guys up. Actually, we're going to load zero up. Seven up, zero up. <laughs> Should have named it seven. Seven up. Um, anyways, it's we're loading it up. Going to get a moody skybox going. So yeah, basically, I've decided to name the campaign Southern Strike. <clears throat> Southern, Southern Strike, yes, precisely. Uh, and you can tell that because of the video uh, <laughs> uh, name, I guess. Uh, let's give these guys some equipment. Oh shit, they haven't actually got any guns. Right. We might have to add a few more AKs then. Not a big deal. Uh, AK-47. That's what they will be using. Wait. What? I thought I... Hmm. Odd. To say the least. Did I have to recopy these guys? Hmm. Weird. Eh. Anyway. What is done is done. Hmm. A few too many. Eh. They'll be added to the bunch anyway. They can be standing around here. We need a few of these groups as well. I 
I don't have any idea how many people will be defending an airport like this. But I'm gonna send some people up into the house or the building up there. I'm gonna keep some by the hangar. Uh, squad there by the gate. I guess most most of them would be bunkered down into like a bunker or something along the lines here. That's usually what they are when I look at live leak and stuff like that. But uh, what do you do? Uh, these will be just positioned like this. Some tanks can be positioned here and there like they would be. In cover, stealthy, hidden. Like that. Really kind of discreet. So yeah, this is an SAA military base. I would really wish for some, some more skins and varieties, but the developer is, is working. I actually sent him a message. He's actually working on finishing like the English translation before expanding, but he could implement plenty of other things as well. Um, but yeah, this is great as it is, really. Everyone's going to be on move, free move. Except some of these tanks. The only thing is that they're speaking Russian, but eh, it's what the visuals matter the most, I'd say, in this time. Can you climb? Can I race you up? No. <laughs> there were not many to climb in. Sometimes there's an MG up here that you can climb into, but I guess not this time around. Are they all inside the building? Great. Makes for cool combat later on, I'm sure. Uh, let's fill some of these places as well. They can come out running surprised when the battle actually starts. So, right. Same team. I always seem to forget something like that. Just gotta get everyone out. You'll have a better look at the IDF now as well. So yeah, basically the whole idea is that um, Russia and Syria um, is obviously good allies. So Seeing as Russia was kicked out of uh, uh, Crimea, they're gonna probably we're gonna probably see them further down here south, in the Middle East, trying to have an impact on the war itself. So much going on further north, um, I guess story-wise. So they have about four main battle tanks. Well, we should have about four as well then, I guess. Seeing as. I mean, the Markava should be technically be a way better tank, but I saw it just get owned before. And they have, like, what, how many beep? Like, they have three? But they've got better autocannons, so I'm just gonna go with, like, one, two, three, four, and then reinforcement. Mm, I wanna try and make it not really that super even. I know the Israeli Defense Force has a way bigger budget than Syria's army, but I don't know. I don't wanna. I don't wanna take it out of proportion, uh, which I haven't done this far. Maybe I'll give them a piece of artillery instead. Maybe open up with a bit of an artillery strike. That could always go home. Maybe just air, air Force instead. No, 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 we're not going to see any of that. I don't want to mix too many things in here. I'll give them the... Um, yeah. What the hell is that? Give them that thing. That thing. And then I'll give them some... These guys will initiate the attack. Dum dum dum. Okay, 
Mm. Let's shell the entrance to not inflict too many casualties on the FS or the SAA. You guys ready for the fight? Let's go. By the way, Americans will be down here as well. Uh, I'm gonna. I intend to include them in this this theater too. <laughs> Alarm, alarm. Jesus Christ. Okay. You're not actually supposed to fire at it again. I have no idea why you are. Jesus Christ. What's up on the fire there? Some recover took some hits. the infantry out and running. Infantry supported. Move, 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 move. The rest are waiting patiently here. I think the Merkava's just literally destroyed the enemy. I saw otherwise before, but this time it's not even fair. <laughs> War isn't fair, though. But Jesus Christ. Game-wise... Holy hell. Pull back, guys. Pull back. Went so damn fast as well. We got any RPG gunner? We got one here. He could be the answer. Oh, they're running the wrong way. Oh, right, I forgot about that one. Okay. This is actually a Syrian Air Force base. Uh, it would only be realistic if they could scramble fighters. But then again, the Israeli Air Force would probably be part taken too, so we're not going to involve any. Just for ease. There's a lot of them hiding behind here. Man, the, the, the SAA just got owned quite quickly there. I didn't expect them to be that out, out armed or outgunned. Jesus Christ. Oh no, he threw the grenade on his friend. Jesus Christ, they were butchered. I guess I did send them in though in a bit of an unfair manner, but... These guys are gonna try and evacuate now. They can try. Oh no! Oh, They're getting the hell out of dodge. And these guys all, yep, they've all jumped out. It's really. Oh, they're gonna try and gun it down. Hmm. 
Hmm. Looks like they might make it. Eh. They're gonna continue flying at least, that's for all I know. These guys are gonna try and get away as well. These guys are gonna try and get further into the base. He's on that chopper. Oh, they got the pilot. Ow. Does not bode well. <laughs> These guys were like, what the hell is that? Okay, we gotta secure the remaining uh, part of the base now. Won't send in any vehicles due to the risk of losing them. Shit, these guys are alive here. Like, nothing even happened. We need to pull back to their secondary defense here. Well, these guys can actually defend up here in the building. Very interesting indeed. Can you get up in the roof? Oh. Jesus Christ, he sucked. I mean, he really did. I mean, he was... Terrible. That wasn't much arguing. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot about the ones hiding from behind the building. Shit. Gonna pull them back now to cover. Send in the armor. Infantry support, eh? Oh, Jesus Christ, Bloom's Park. These SAA soldiers are really defending. They're trying, I mean, they're trying. You can't, you can't argue with trying. That uh, engine is gone. And... Pretty much only one recover remaining. I think the... Israelis are going to try a little bit of a different approach. Got him. These guys are moving up as well. Suck on that. This guy needs backup. He's down. It's like some Pelulu airfield. Jesus Christ. And I think the Syrians took it. Or the, sorry, the Israelis. Well, I thought that was a pretty cool fight. I wasn't, I wasn't, I mean, sure, yeah, the, the, they did have artillery. But the airbase was, I don't know, taken under shock. And most of the units are probably used further north fighting the FSA now. But this is really going to scramble the, the Syrian army into a whole different stance. And I think we should see some interesting battles next time here in the deserts of the Middle East. Um... Guys, once again, I'm looking for maps. Would be really amazing. And, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. They crashed, but they survived. He's just taking it. He's just smoking. Fuck this man. Just having a smoke. Who's gonna argue? <laughs> just bleeding my, my guts out as well. That was cool. I'm looking forward to more of this. Cool using the IDF. I hope I can use the USMC soon again and perhaps some Russian troops too. And of course the IDF versus Russians. That's always cool. Um, but we'll see more of that soon. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.